All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC using Rewaz. Rewaz is a controller mapping driver software that covers a wide variety of, of controllers. You can see it here. It does weird ones too, like Stadia, Azeron, and NVIDIA Shield controllers, besides like the big ones like Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. And it, the big selling point besides plug and play is that it allows you to really easily rebind all of your controls based upon the game that you're playing. The downside is that they want you to pay for it in a subscription of like $20 for three months, which for a lot of other driver software would probably just pay for the software outright. So I can see why people would say it's too expensive. I bought a key so you can see what it does and how it works. Uh, but it does come with a seven day free trial. So if you want to try it, download it off their website and install it. And then when you restart your computer and boot it up, it'll either ask you if you want to log in to verify that you have a key or if you want to start your seven day free trial. And then that's it. Um, from there, you, you probably don't have your controller plugged in or maybe you do. It'll look a little bit like this where you don't have your controller plugged in. It just shows your keyboard your mouse, and in my case, I've got a Wacom tablet plugged in. This is the receiver, and this is the actual tablet. Um, so all you have to do to plug your controller in and use it is just plug it in. It should immediately detect it, like it does right now, and now you can go ahead and use your PS4 controller to play PC games. It's that easy. There's really no elaborate stuff to it. Now, where it does get elaborate, if you really wanted to, is you can make a custom profile like the ones that it comes with over here in the sidebar, where you can play different types of games with a custom layout that is saved inside of Rewaz rather than in the game itself. So I can go to Add Game Profile, and I've got Stardew running in the background here so I can detect it and make a special control for it. I can call this Stardew. PS4, I can add a box art if I want, and I'm gonna add the process uh, for Stardew, which is currently running in the background, which is why I've got it running in the background. And then once all that's put together, I can just hit the add that as a profile, and I can set up custom controls for DualShock 4, keyboard, mouse, all of that good stuff. Um, in this case, I really just want to remap my controller because I just like some custom buttons on my touchpad. So I can click any one of these buttons to bring up a menu to change what it's bound to. But in this case, I just want to rebind the middle buttons here, the four quadrants. I want this quadrant to hit tab to let me open up my inventory. And I want this quadrant to let me hit escape. And I can make it so this requires a hard click. I can do that with both of them. And then I can literally pull down this pull down menu to rebind this to any key binding for any of the major controllers from PlayStation to Xbox to keyboard to mouse here. Or like, let's say I put it to O by mistake, I can just click it and I can hit what button I actually want to bind it to. I can hit tab and I can click to the side and it's bound. It's pretty easy. You can rebind anything you want on here, including the gyroscope to do different things. You can click to the side to change the back paddles. You can also have it change the sensitivity for the virtual mouse or disable the virtual mouse. You can even change the vibration settings. So you can make it very custom. Then when you're done, you can go up to the top here and click save and then bing, bang, boom, you're done. And then you can click one of these other icons at the bottom to bring back open the main menu. So there you go. You're ready to play. And that's a lot of what this game, this offers. It's because you're paying for it, it's plug and play. It's easy to use, or at least it tries to be easy to use. It allows for a lot of customization. Uh, that said, you can also play this with wireless if you don't want it plugged in. If you don't want this plugged in for your controller, you can just unplug it, go to your computer's Bluetooth settings. Most computers have Bluetooth built in. It's part of the Wi-Fi system. If you don't, then sorry, it sucks. Um, but you can just go in there, hold your controller, press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button until it starts to flash on the back. It can only take like a couple seconds. 
and then click on add Bluetooth or other devices, click Bluetooth on this little black pop-up, and then it should just call it a generic wireless controller because Sony doesn't like labeling things for some reason. Once that's done, it should show back up here in your interface, but it'll be a little different. It shows that this is my DualShock 4. It shows the ID and the VID, PID numbers, uh, but it's connected with Bluetooth rather than a cable. If you need to charge this and you plug it back in, that icon will change back to a full controller to say that it's plugged in and charging, but it'll also tell you that it's paired with Bluetooth to this PC. It'll also tell you if this is currently paired with another computer or device that isn't this PC. That will tell you to unpair it with your PlayStation or to unpair it with your other computer or to use the button on the back that's a little hole that you press a pin into to hard reset it so it's not trying to talk to a computer or a console. And then if I'm done charging, it'll switch right back to being able to play games automatically. You don't have to do anything special. That way you don't have any hiccups when you're trying to play a game with this controller. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just plug and play, download it, install it, plug in your controller, have fun. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.